Hey guys, it's Nikki here, and today I'll be doing a review on the next line of Freaky Fusion dolls. I got them from TootsToys.com. I'll leave the link to the store in the description, and be sure to stay tuned at the end of the video for pictures of the boxes. I'm going to begin with Laguna Fire, which is a combination of Jinifire and Laguna. By the way, guys, these dolls do come with stands, and they're yellow, so it's a change from black. So she's got this crazy headpiece in her hair with like pearls and fiery designs. Her hair is also gelled over here in the front and curled. And it's green and yellow. I'll give you a 360 of that. There's a big tail about to poke me. <laughs> and her makeup is red eyeshadow with gold at the top. And she's also got these pinky lips. And they kept Laguna's freckles. And these are what the ears look like. She's got this really cute pink top on with a gold body piece. And there's a gold trim on her bottom with the little fin sticking out. And she's also got like a jellyfish design on her skirt, but it also looks like those umbrellas. And they kept scaly skin, like Jennifer, and gold fins. Don't mind my bad manicure, guys. And they gave her her webbed hands. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the chest is all lizard-like, just like Jennifer. She's got a jellyfish bag that also kind of looks like those Chinese chandeliers. And you can put stuff inside because there's a little hole. She's also got a tail with gold at the end. So it's pretty cool that they included the tail. And moving on to the bottom, see she's got her scaly legs and gold fins over here as well. And her shoes. Be sure to leave your favorite shoes in the comments, guys, by the way. She's got neon pink shoes with some crazy designs over here. And the heel is so cool. Check it out. So that's it for the Laguna Fire doll. Each of the ghouls come with a diary. So over here it says Laguna Fire. And at the bottom it says, if you find my diary, please return it to me before it singes your fingers. And yes, it is a shared journal. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And you can pause and read if you wish. It gives you clues about kind of what happened with the whole fusion situation. And what I found cool is instead of about me, it says about us. See that? So that's it for Laguna Fire. Next is my favorite, Claw Venus. So her ears are like leaves and wolf ears at the same time. She's got an earring wrapped around in this ear and just a simple collar-like ring in this one. Her hair is also pretty crazy. It's all shaved over here with pink and some twisted green and purple hair. I'll give you 360 of that. I absolutely love the purple hair with Claudine, so I'm glad they brought that back. And for her makeup, she's got purple eyebrows and this crazy kind of eyeshadow thing going on that looks kind of like leaves. And the cheetah print on her eye as well. Her lips are pink and they did give her Venus's teeth. She's got this fuzzy coat that is separate from the dress. It's got some purple in it. And her dress has some fishnet at the top with cheetah and little plant designs over here along with a big gold body piece over here. And on this hand, she's got a big bangle that looks like this. And they did give her Venus's hands. She's also holding this bag that has like the collar around over here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And it has vines that wrap around it. And she's got belts that wrap around this arm. And she is kind of a gray, uh, well not gray, a greenish tan color, by the way. And her shoes are pretty cool. So they've got like vine-like belts that wrap around the ankles. And the heel looks like a claw. Just like they've been doing with Claudine a lot lately. So I absolutely love these shoes. And that's it for Claw Venus.
onto her diary. It looks like this. It says Claw Venus, and it says it's not a good uh, it's not a good idea to plant your fangs into someone else's diary. I love how they interrupt each other on the front. And the same thing. If you guys like to pause and read, you could. And it's also with both entries from both ghouls. And there's a ton of entries to read, and it fills you in a little bit about what happened with the whole Freaky Fusion situation. Which I can't wait to see the movie. And again with the About Us, they take turns writing about each other. So, that's it for her diary. Next is Cleo Lai. This is Cleo Denial and Torlai combined. They gave her the cat ears with little studs in her ears. And they have a headband with a skelet in the front, with little ears on it. They gave her Torlai's classic streak, but it's made longer to match Cleo's hair that they gave her. I'll give you a 360 of her hair. I love the color, there's like some purple in it. And her makeup is pretty cool, it's like striped green and red. And one side of her face is shaded orange with gold stripes. She's also got red lips. And she has a little material piece on her neck. She's got a metallic blue jacket on. And her suit has got little diamonds and kind of Egyptian detailing in there. She also has this belt with Torlai Skelet on there. She's carrying a gold bag with little feathers on the side. And she is kind of like mummy wrap detailed. So there's like mummy wraps on her wrist over here. And not to violate you, Cleo, but she's kind of mummy wrapped underneath. And she has the classic glove like Torlai has, except it's gold to give it that Cleo effect. And before I forget to show you, her tail has little mummy wraps on it. For her shoes, they're pretty basic. They have little cuffs around the ankles. Oops, and I just snapped her stand out of place. And for the wedge, it's kind of curved in. And in the front, there's little faces. So that's it for Cleo Lai. Let's not forget their diary, so it says Cleo Lai. And over here it says, if you're reading this diary, you'd better have either royal eyes or nine lives. So once again, you can pause and read, guys, if you wish. Entries from the both ghouls. And last page, which I have a difficult time opening for some reason a lot. Okay, there we go. And, oh, one of reflection on there. And the About Us once again. So, that's it for Cleo Lai. Next is a Jiraku Becca. I absolutely love the way they did this combination. She's wearing the goggles, but they have little hearts just like Draculaura would have. And I'll give you a 360 of her hair. They pretty much did it just like Rebecca and Draculaura. So she's got the black hair, but she has blue and pink streaks. And in the front, there's this really pretty curl that have bold streaks in there. And her makeup, I find they did more like Draculaura's. It's got purple around the eye with red lips. And they gave her the mechanical eyes there. And she does have the bolts in her head. She's also got a... Ooh, Cleo just fell. She's also got a mechanical heart on her face. And Cleo can stay down. <laughs> And her earrings, before I forget, look like this. They're like hearts with wings and the mechanical gears. And going down over here, well first, actually I'm going to show you her umbrella that kind of fell. So it looks like this. So I love how they gave her like Dracula's umbrella, 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 but with kind of Rebecca-like details. And she has a rope for the handle with little wings with spider webs. Her outfit has a little fishnet at the top, and it's got a pink and blue striped top. And there's another piece that wraps around here that looks exactly like something Rebecca and Draculaura would wear. And the design in the skirt is like mechanical hearts, which is super, super cool. And it's jagged over here with pink material and a little bit of crinoline over here. And before I forget to show you, she has literally wings that are 
like copper and they have little hearts on them just check out the detail and I'm gonna try and take her hair out of the way so you can see so there we go pretty sick no and now I probably just messed up her hair hang on all right so I'm trying to show you the detail as best as I can with one hand so sorry about that she's got the mechanical kind of legs with all the bolts and check out her shoes. She definitely wins best shoes at this time. They're just like Rebecca's boots, only with some Draculaura flair to them. They've got hearts, and check out the bottom. They're so cool. Be sure to leave your favorite shoes in the comments, by the way, guys. And just check out the bottom. I'll pick up Cleo in a minute. They've got the same little rocket shoes, just like Rebecca. And if you guys are wondering, they don't have the gears on the back of her legs, because I'm sure a lot of you are going to wonder that. So that's it for Dracu Becca. Last is her diary. It says Dracu Becca, and it says, I'll get steamed if you read my diary, and that makes me batty. So now, same thing, if you'd like to pause and read, you may. Once again, entries from both ghouls. And the last page, work with me, yay, okay. And the about us in the back. And that's it. All right guys, so that brings us to the end of this video. Be sure to subscribe to me, leave a comment, which one is your favorite? Like I said, mine is Claw Venus, but I really do love Laguna Fire too. Like this video, favorite, share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to watch my other videos. Add me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Links are always in the description. Oh, and Instagram. All right, so thanks so much for watching. See you guys soon, and be sure to check out my other Freaky Fusion review. Bye.